stick around to hear all about these amazing fragrances hi guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are all doing well so today's video is going to highlight all my fragrances so this is a fragrance collection i'm going to split it in parts i don't even know why i'm going to do this but i'm going to freestyle i wouldn't really go into the notes of any of these fragrances i'll just tell you if they're worth the buy if they are if they are nice fragrances basically because if i was to go into the notes and all of that this video is just going to be too long and i don't want that so i want to try and get this done in 20 minutes or 25 minutes if possible so bear with me if it's a little bit longer but i'm going to start with the body mist i'm going to do hair mist and i'm going to move on to the fragrances so i hope you guys enjoy this video i've literally been avoiding doing this video because it is so stressful to bring all my fragrances well i think i've missed one or two but those ones are irrelevant so um yeah it's just been a really stressful one and the thought of putting them back is just stressing me out already but i do this for you guys i do it for you guys so if you've not already subscribed make sure you subscribe to my channel if you like this video please thumbs up and don't forget to leave me a comment i read every single comment i love reading your comments so yeah stay tuned guys so, there's a couple of body mist from victoria secret this is amber romance it's got a little bit of a shimmer to it i also have it in um, amber romance without the shimmer i also have the vanilla lace no this is bare vanilla which is just vanilla and it's just a very simple um body mist i use these mostly for layering so i've got the um amber romance with the shimmer i've got the amber romance plain and i've got the bare vanilla all from victoria's secret the next body mists are from lush and this is the snow fairy i have videos on these by the way so i'll link it down below snow fairy just smells like a pick me up um what do you call it sugary sweet body mist it's more or less nearly finished this is this are seasonal so i wouldn't be able to buy it anymore until probably around christmas time and then we've got golden pear which literally smells like it smells like a like a i don't know like a juicy kind of pear with like a sparkly thing going on like an orangey flex going on and we have yognog which is my favorite one because it smells like butterscotch and it smells like caramel it's really really nice and i use all of these by themselves and also for layering so the next ones are my air perfumes this is vo5 it's called rose remix I got this from a supermarket um, in the UK called Superdrug. Uh, where's the other one? Okay, let's move on. Um, and I have the Mooglass um, Angel hair perfume. Yeah. I also have Pink Sugar by Aqualina hair perfume also. And I've got the Alien Air Perfume. Alien just smells the same. Um, the Angel actually smells really strong. It's really, really nice. Sometimes I put it on my skin and on my clothing, not just on my um, on my hair. If anyone's wondering if Air Perfume does dry your hair, I've not had any issues with this Air Perfumes, but obviously each to their own. Like It depends on your hair and what you mind putting on it. Um, but for me, it's worked fine on my natural hair, but I spray it more on my weaves and my wigs and my braids. And this one is also by VO5 and it's called Vanilla Twist. Um, yeah, this is really, really nice. It's just, it just smells like a tropical vanilla sort of scent. Um, these ones, they don't last very long, but the initial smell is really, really nice. And yeah, I quite like it. So now I move on to the fragrance that started that started this all for me and this is called the Body Shop Body Perfume and this is just a pure vanilla fragrance. This surprisingly lasts very long. I've been using this since I was 12 years old. I used to save up just to buy these and 
i absolutely love it to this day i really really like it it's literally just smells like simple plain sweet vanilla i really i use it on its own and for layering my daughter has adopted this as one of her favorite fragrances and it's just really really amazing so now i think i would move on to celebrity fragrances and i have a video on this as well so i'll link that um i'll link that down below so you can check it out if you want to i will start by kkw diamond this is the collaboration that Kim Kardashian did with her sisters, Kylie, no, Chloe and Courtney. This is Kim's one, which is diamond. This doesn't smell very nice, guys. It's actually a little bit awful. I'm not even going to sniff it because it actually makes me sick. Um, it just reminds me of like an expired Maggie cube that is just not very nice. So that i wouldn't even give that away to anyone i wouldn't even sell it that's how much i don't like it um the pink one is chloe's one which smells quite floral and really nice it's the second best one um of this collaboration and this one is ah the yellow one is courtney's one which is the nicest one it smells it's quite fresh it's quite fresh it's also a bit floral i really like it none of them last um a long time it's only 30 mils so you could actually carry it in your purse to top off through the day because it just it doesn't last at all the next one is also a um kim kardashian uh, fragrances this one is called bay and it's quite a sweet fragrance it has an undertone of a bit of a sickening vibe going and if you watch any of my videos and my opinions differ that's perfectly normal because sometimes it depends on your mood um and certain fragrance fragrances smells different on different occasions for me sometimes my favorite fragrance today might just be really smelly to me in the next month or so so don't mind the change in opinion that's why also i think when you go out and smell fragrances, hopefully that can happen soon. We can all go out and live our best lives. Um, I would suggest you to, when you try a fragrance, don't buy it straight away. I think it's best to spray it on, go home, get your friends, get your family members, get other people to smell you and you smell it on yourself and see if it's actually nice. Because sometimes the first note of a fragrance can be so nice and then once, once it settles, it just it changes it changes and sometimes it doesn't change for the better it can be a little bit bad so yeah bay is also it's okay it's a nice fragrance i think all these fragrances are best for like younger um people this one is bff the pink one which i think is also quite quite floral wow I've just sprayed it onto my lip wow it's also quite floral simple fragrances nothing um nothing like that stands out really in them ride or die is probably probably quite floral to me it's also all quite sweet they all smell quite similar to be quite honest and oh, i don't know if i showed it ride or die and we move on to ariana grande's perfumes i really like this one this is thank you next by ariana grande i do like the packaging i think the heartbreaking thingy is quite nice it's quite a i don't know a plasticky flimsy fragrance so i, I prefer it like this um yeah this smells sweet it smells like bay and all of those um other fragrances this one is sweet like candy which i really like the packaging of yeah the name says it all it's sweet and it's like candy yeah and um the best one of ariana grande's fragrance is obviously cloud cloud is fantastic it just reminds me of a peachy not a peachy it reminds me of like a whipped cream like a whipped cream marshmallow coconutty fragrance it's a dupe for the baccarat rouge 540 which i'm gonna move on to in a bit it's right here this lasts very long if you want to buy any celebrity fragrance 
definitely go for ariana grande's cloud it is fantastic the next one would be britney spears prerogative which is right here also smells decent it's okay these are like fragrances that i would wear to the gym or that i just quickly spritz on if i want to go to the market or if i'm just going to do something that i don't really i just want to smell okay this doesn't smell that long lasting but britney spears she does some really lovely fragrances but they do all have this cheap um vibe going so yeah this is the best um fragrance from kim this is kim kardashian by kim kardashian this smells really amazing it's really good for layering mm. it smells quite floral it's quite sweet also it has a little bit of freshness to it if you're gonna buy any of kim's fragrances buy this one and then we have the lips um collab that she did with her sister kylie this is the red lip which which is quite nice it's quite floral it's sweet it's nice and we have the pink lips also kind of similar i think the pink one is nicer today hmm. it has like a creamy vibe i like the pink one today but they all don't last very long apart from the pink kim one that i just showed you now the um kim by kim kardashian the last um celebrity fragrance i believe is yeah this is rebel fleur by rihanna this smells like a tropical coconut it's really nice it does last long and it just reminds me of rihanna obviously it's a rihanna's fragrance but i've always thought if she was to smell like anything this is like the perfect um fragrance that she would smell like the only thing i don't like about this is the bottle i don't think much thought is being put into it because it isn't very easy to spray um, but aside from that i think it's quite a nice bottle and it does last reasonably long it's really like lovely if you like coconut and you like a uh, tropical fragrance this is definitely a good one to buy sorry i forgot to add there's one more um celebrity fragrance this one is the kimoji cherry which is probably the second nicest um, of Kim's fragrances it smells like cherry and vanilla mixed together it's a really lovely fragrance it lasts reasonably long and I really like the packaging of this it's it's not bad so the next fragrance is by Pull&Bear I bought this a long time ago because I just thought oh, this is a nice camera and then they said to me that it's actually a perfume um, the top button here is where you spray it and it's almost finished but it's a really it's surprisingly really nice oh oops now you spray it here oopsie it just smells like a fabric softener it smells like a fabric softener i don't know what notes are in there i couldn't find anything about it online but it smells like a fresh fabric um, soft now i don't think they sell it anymore but i just think the concept of the packaging is quite cute the next one would be um mac candy yum yum this smells very yummy this was a blind buy for me i got it from mac um it was on sale i bought it like in um, christmas time i actually don't reach for it because i forget that it's there it smells like bubble gum and it's nice it doesn't last that long but it's a lovely lovely fragrance and i'll definitely recommend if you wanted to buy an affordable fragrance and you don't want to do the celebrity fragrances this is a really good option then we move on to this is Hugo boss femme i've mentioned this in my video this is a floral fragrance that smells incredibly feminine it smells like a really nice flower but it doesn't last that long but it's lovely and it's like an old one i really really like the packaging of this the next fragrance i'm gonna talk about is lancome it knows this is one of my favorite favorite fragrances ever i love this because it's very very sexy i always wear i always reach for this on the night out and oh 
it's great it's great i've not worn in a long time because i i forget about it because i'm really i have two fragrances that i'm obsessed with right now so i literally will reach for them but this is definitely worth buying if you like something that is a bit hypnotic a bit sexy definitely go for this next one is paco raban they just they just me i like this mostly for the packaging it smells lovely it kind of smells a little bit like the baccarat rouge 540 it does last really really long and it's different like if you want something that's quite different you're not really going to smell like everybody this is a really really good one to buy and then we move on to Givenchy Hot by Givenchy no Hot Couture by Givenchy I love this fragrance I've been wearing it for such a long time it lasts for it lasts for the whole day is fantastic definitely a good buy i love it next one is elizabeth arden white tea this is an og fragrance it smells like tea without um it smells like tea without um milk and sugar it just smells like tea with vanilla um it doesn't last very long it's very it's, it's it's a simple fragrance i don't reach for it unless i'm going to the gym but i haven't been going to the gym obviously but once i start going back to the gym i will start reaching for it again but next one mm, do, 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 do. yeah let's go for um aqualina pink sugar this i mentioned the air perfume earlier this smells like the candy floss from the fun fair and mixed with sugar and caramel and we move on to lolita lempica this is lolita lempica by lolita lempica this is licorice and sweetness i really like this because it's very unique it's very quirky fragrance it isn't for everybody i would definitely recommend you smell it first before buying but I don't mind licorice in my perfumes and this is really really well done we move on to Lolita Lempica sweet this the name I don't know it doesn't live up to the name because it's sweet but I expected a lot more like I have loads of fragrances here that are sweet but they don't have the name sweet so when this when I saw this and I thought this is sweet this is going to be very sweet but it isn't it's more cherry it smells like cherry and coke yeah, it smells like cherry and coke with a little bit of freshness. It's nice. I'm not crazy about it, but it, it's nice. If you want something a bit cherry, a bit, I don't know. Yeah, go for it. Juicy Couture. This one is Viva La Juicy Noir. This is... Yeah, this smells like another sweet, a bit bland fragrance. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't last very long. It looks nice it's more for a younger person um in their teens or something like that not really worth a buy unless you want to buy it for your daughter or you want to buy it for someone that's quite young and yeah this is viva la juicy noir the next one is um viva la juicy gold couture i like this a lot because it smells like vanilla and caramel yeah it smells like vanilla and caramel it's definitely worth a buy it's a really if you like something sweet and you don't mind that it's not going to last too long definitely go for this um all right, let's go over to burberry for women right here i'm really glad that i bought the 30 ml bottle to to test it it is a nice fragrance it's just nice it doesn't stand out i can't really smell it right now i don't think it's worth buying but if you like something that is into something you can layer this is definitely a good one and then i move on to one of my favorite fragrances right now this is um chopard cashmere this smells like it's not like a really glorified body cream and i really like it it smells like a really super strong body cream it's a little bit mature i think but anyone can wear it i really really like it and it's surprisingly long lasting and then we move on to everyone's favorite everyone likes this fragrance i don't this is lancome's lovey abel this is for me a really 
boring fragrance it doesn't do anything for me if you like this i'm really sorry um if you feel offended by my opinion of this but um yeah i'm not a fan of this this it doesn't do anything for me a lot of men like it though a lot of guys that like it so if you want a crowd pleasing everyone has it everyone likes it then yeah go for la vie abel i'm not spraying it because i don't like the smell but yeah la vie abel um the next one which is a quite a new one for me this is elisab's girl of now forever this surprised me it's so nice this is like the ultimate one of the ultimate summer fragrances for me it just smells so fruity and fresh it smells like a bowl of fruit like if you cut apples cherries grapes everything together it literally smells like that with a with a tinginess of um is that even a word yeah with a with a fresh vibe i really like it it's it was a blind buy but it was so worth it like yeah get it this is once again um girl of now forever by elisab i'm sorry guys from all over the place i'm just trying to get through this really quickly i can i can already see um like nine minutes into this so bear with me oh by the way guys sorry i didn't say this at the beginning i think you should get something nice to eat or nice to drink while you're watching this video because it's a bit long right this is one of my favorite fragrances and this is angel muse by mugla it smells like mm, it smells like chocolate it's a more toned down version of angel fantastic long lasting we move on to angel i don't own the other perform anymore because it's way too obnoxious for me but the other toilet it does last really long it's really lovely everyone knows angel oh this is like a patchouli strong if you know mugla the fragrances are always quite obnoxious and angel is definitely one of them the packaging of this just gets me I just feel like a superstar when I wear it. Move on to one of the most popular fragrances ever by um, Mugla. This is Alien. I didn't like this fragrance at first, but after letting it set into my skin, I fell in love, guys. I fell in love so hard. I reach for it every single day. Like, I look at all my fragrances and I just think, what should I wear today? And it's always this one. Yeah, this is... So you you have to have this in your wardrobe like everybody has to have this it's fantastic and then we move on to a flanker of alien which is alien essence absolute this is absolutely fantastic it's a toned down version of the original a alien i love it it's long lasting it's crowd pleasing it's sexy it's great fantastic the next fragrance i'm moving on to is vanilla goodness this is Dior Addict. This is a must have, guys. This has, this just makes me happy. It's so different. It's a vanilla done in a very different way. It's fantastic. It lasts long. It's great. I'm obsessed. Definitely a buy, for sure. And we move on to my favorite Dior designer fragrance, which is Hypnotic Poison this just smells so sexy oh uh, this is like if you want to if you want to make an impression on the guy that you you have a crush on and it takes you out on a date and you put this on and when you meet each other like he says hello you share a hug and he sniffs your neck oh my god this 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 is going to do something to someone this will do some damage i really like this it's long lasting it's an other toilet but it will stay on your skin on your clothes for a long time we move on to the fragrance that reminds me of love this is Guerlain insolence this i was wearing when i met my husband i love it it's great it's flowery it's vanilla it's fruity it's fresh it's great it isn't for everybody because i've had people not like it i don't know why they don't like it but they didn't like it so um I love it my husband loves it it's still his favorite fragrance on me to this day and it's one of an all-time favorite for me I've been wearing it for such a long time 
i love the bottle i love everything about it so this is once again insolence by galane 